Yes, blog, blog, blogs. Blogs are a great way to connect for learning. And uh, Moodle has uh, great blogs. And you can see them everywhere. That's right. So let's take a look. Okay, we're going to go into a participant's, okay, here it is, one of the participant's um, profiles. All right, and then on the left, notice what's here, because this there's a lot of information here. All right, so this is a user. There's the name, and here are the forum posts that the person has done, their blogs, their courses, and then there's information about their all kinds of the messages, activity reports, and their roles in different courses. So this is really great. So let's take a look. All right, we're going to go into blogs because that's what we're interested in right now. Now notice what it says here. View all entries by this person. So this is how you can check and see. All right, so these are notice, okay, lots of blogs. And this means that anyone in the world can see this. All right, so if you put this link out there, it's available for everyone on this particular Moodle website. And I encourage you to uh, simply go in and add your comments. It's really gratifying to get comments, okay, here. And these are great posts because uh, this particular participant is using a screenshot, and she's got all kinds of screenshots, and that's excellent, excellent, very, very good. All right, very impressive. All right, let's uh, explore. All right, so we're going to go into um, back into the course. All right, we're going to and notice the breadcrumbs here because we want to go backwards. So we've got the person's name, blogs, the person and users. Okay, what we want to do is we want to go into the course. Okay, so let's go into the course, and uh, the courses here they are. Okay, so we can go into the courses because we want to go back. Okay, so let's click on courses. Okay, and then these are the two courses. We'll go into this one. The two courses on this particular Moodle website. Okay, there's another Moodle website right here. Okay, so we're in the course. How do I know I'm in the course? Well, breadcrumbs. Here I'm in the profile, the person's name, participants. And here is the course. Don't go any further. So let's go into the course and see what's going on. Notice before I go into the course, there is a block called blog menu. And this is on all the pages, even on the profile page. But let me go into the course so that things look a bit different. Okay, so let's take a look. We're going to go into this blog menu right here. We don't have to go through our profile. We can do it right here. So we're going to add a new entry. Okay, we can also view all the entries by other people for this course, about this course and so on, okay? But we can also view all entries of everything in the Moodle, okay? So let's take a look at all entries so we can see what other people are doing, okay? All right, and this is you get everybody, and you can comment, add your comments, please. I know there's a lot to do, but you know, if you give others a little bit of your time, you'll feel a sense of gratification. All right, so notice people are taking things. This is excellent. Everybody's doing a great job. You get ideas and tell them that they're doing a great job. So notice what I have here, breadcrumbs, blog entries, site blogs, all the blogs on the site. Okay, so not just your course, but let's go back to the course, right? We want to go back to our course. So it's really exciting. We're back to the course. If you're not sure, you always go to your Profile, and that's where you can get all the information. So keep that in mind. Your profile has a lot of information, and it'll keep you focused in the navigation. So scroll down and stick to your profile, okay? So uh, it's really important. And also the navigation. Notice it's a navigation, so why not pay attention to it? It gives you a lot of things. My home page, the course, the participants, and everything else that's here. Lots of information and of course my courses under navigation as well as under profile. So use all these features that Moodle has and it's a lot of fun. Now the only way you remember everything is by using it and the more mistakes you make that's great because then you'll remember it a lot better. All right so the only way 
to get Moodle is to use it again and again and again. So keep at it. You don't have to. It's not a book that you have to read and memorize. It'll work with your fingers. Your fingers will remember what they have to do. And your eyes, of course, okay? So keep your fingers on the keyboard and have a good time about blogs. Any other questions? Ask, but don't get angry, okay? It's not a bad thing to ask questions. In fact, it's a great way to learn because when we don't ask, we don't want to know anything. And we don't want to know anything. We're not going to learn very much. So asking questions is the first step.